welcome the seven figure giver, the beast from the east, and Eason Gill. First off, I've got to say congratulations to Jake Paul for getting the win. Because mm. otherwise, soon I might sound bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a case of you underperforming or Jake being better than you imagined? I think that it, it was my fuck up. God, and all the fighters are there. And Jake's there with his WBC belt. I wasn't 100% me on stage. I could have done way better on stage. Jake's upstairs, uh, come up in three minutes or he, or in five minutes or uh, or he's leaving. Uh, I called whoever was sore in it. I was like, time to leave. It was 24 seven with Vidal and Leon. Mm. So like, I, even if I was in the, in the house or the flat and I was just on my computer, they're like, what are you doing? Why aren't you watching boxing? Do you think you'll ever fight Deji? I ever <laughs> fight Deji. Yeah. <laughs> when they're talking like they would do something different or he uh, would be doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't understand. I was told before in the locker room about the three knockdown rule. In my soul. Yeah. In my soul. Yeah. I am I need to fight. Imagine we've gone back in time. You're offered the same fight the same purse, mm -hmm. the same outcome, would you take it? Same outcome? Yeah. Hello guys and welcome back to Jack Mate's Happy Hour. No Stevie today. Alfie, you're filling in. I'm filling in. Third you, time. You get closer to the mic, mate. Is it? Yeah, like yeah, that. Because like you've got you're quite a softly spoken lad. Yeah. I, f I thought we'd bring... Jordan's here. Are you right? Yeah, not bad, mate. I thought we'd Good. bring Alfie in. Yeah, solid, um, solid substitution. Because we've got a big guest today, um, a, a fan favourite. <laughs> a big giver. Yeah, big Here giver. Se Hello, boys. Se Seven-figure giver. And uh, obviously, myself and Alfie went to the fight, yeah. so I uh, just thought that'd be good. You can give a different perspective. Yeah. Gib, Ali, Hello. how are you? I'm all right. <laughs> I, I could be better, yeah. but just come off the loss. So yeah. I'm still sensitive. Yeah. It's not bitter, but disappointed still. Mm -hmm. Right. But... It is what it is. Yeah. How, how, how have you been mentally since getting back to, to our England? Oh, it's gone through periods where f at first, of course, I was hella upset. I gave my... Uh, first off, i got to say congratulations to Jake Paul for getting the win. Because mm. otherwise, soon, I might sound bitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So i got to say that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but he got the first round victory. Mm. I'm a bit upset because I worked hard for, towards it. Mm. Yeah. But... Class. Now it's happened. Now it's time to move on. Yeah, Fair yeah, yeah. Jo Joe says quite freely that he struggles to get over the loss against JJ, mm -hmm. and it, it it plays on his mind even now. Mm -hmm. Do you think fantastic? He... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good but but you, you're you're two separate people, yeah. two separate beings. Do you do you think this will be something that will get easier over time? So this is of course like a first big loss that I've had. Mm -hmm. Now there are two paths in front of me. Mm. Yeah. There's the pits. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's the pits to the right. Yeah. And then there's a comeback to the left. Right. Yeah. yeah. Two separate roads. I see both of them very clearly. <laughs> yeah. I see them both yeah. very clearly. Yeah. The, the path to redemption for me mm. is to continue to do what I do. Mm. Yeah. To continue to train. Mm. To make videos and upload. Yeah. And that is the path to redemption. Because... The pits yeah. is silence, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fat, and depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the two yeah. paths. So yeah. I got to now choose which one I got to yeah. go. Yeah. For me, the camp was a test period in itself. Yeah. 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 And I always, like, because I'm not deluded, I put there's winning, then there's losing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. I was aware of losing. But now I'm still in the test period right now. Yeah. Mm. As my choice now which way I go. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Is, is there any fighting in that redemption path? Or is it just YouTube now? Uh. In in my soul, <laughs> yeah. in my soul, yeah. I am. I need to fight. Mm. Okay. I we'll, need. I need to fight. We'll get to that though. We'll get to that because I, 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 if you'd have won and knocked yes. Jake Paul out, obviously yes. I would have fucking loved it, just as a, a, anyone would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not the outcome. That's not what's happened. Mm -hmm. But I, today I just want to talk about like the camp, the fight night, eh, and everything. As if you had one, uh, you'd be here. To, not as if you had one, mm -hmm. but I'd be asking you these questions if you had one. Anyway. If I had one, so, I got you. So we're gonna yeah. just go through that. What, what, what? The UK community came out in full force. Love that. Back big gibber. Yes, I actually really because you know what I had before. Just 
people that didn't know who I was mm -hmm. and the American fan base. So the first press conference, I actually was quite quite a beat. And when I went to the, like, the crowd, I realized, oh shit, none of them fucking like me. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, none of them fucking like me. Here. So it was me against all the reporters, yeah. all of like Jake's team. But well, we're going back to the press conference, like mm. at the uh, at the the weigh-in. Uh, all the boys were at the back uh, yeah. chanting who are you yeah I yeah. fucking love it <laughs> yeah. yeah how how aware because obviously you're very focused during the, yeah. the build up but how aware are you of, of stuff like that going on when I knew I didn't want to because I heard the boys I didn't want to smile straight away yeah. and I, yeah. I, I, it was creeping in so I just wanted to lift my hands up <laughs> enjoy the moment yeah yeah. yeah. but then I, cr I cracked up towards the end yeah uh, so when like and it, even in the last press conference mm. the most boring press conference of all time because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know what they did they did the face to face mm. five minutes before the press conference so we already spoke oh so there was nothing to speak about that's really what we were saying before oh you mean the face to face yeah. is in the interview yeah yeah, yeah so yeah. we did it five minutes like ten, like 10 minutes just before we we went on stage so we already got our energy and spoke everything out right how, so that, that, how did you find that interview face to face because I thought you did well uh, the beginning bit I did fuck it the thing is I'm a klutz yeah, yeah. and I dribbled in the beginning I'm, <laughs> the thing, oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah, people, yeah. Don't really, but people don't know me I'm a, I'm a klutz in person so when I dribble on camera I'm just like I've made myself like a donut <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dribbled down myself and yeah it picked up towards the end I had a ropey start yeah but it picked up towards the end when you do because the thing is when you do something small like that yeah. that plays far more on your head than it does on anyone else's so yeah. like I watched it I watched it I didn't even realise that you did it but because you self-reference it as if to yeah. say fuck like, or yeah. Jake put calls it out doesn't I he I know the bastard, yeah. <laughs> the bastard. <laughs> yeah. but I, I do think that is one of those things that, that yeah. maybe you think of a bit too too much like you know when yeah. you do something embarrassing in day to day life you think yeah. fuck I'm never going to stop mm. thinking was, about that I, at the time, because at the time I didn't even notice. Right, it's when I watch it back. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. it's when I watch it back because at the time I didn't even notice because he said, "Oh, what's happened here?" I thought I just build it on my hands, or maybe I even looked down. Yeah, but then I watched it back. I'm like, "Oh God, it's a full dribble! <laughs> <laughs> it's a full fucking dribble!" Have, ha, ha, how many times have you watched the fight back? Oh, an unhealthy amount of times. Have you? <laughs> yes, yeah. of course. Because I because I edit my own videos. Right. Mm. So mm -hmm. as I was telling the boys I, yeah, before yeah. I came here, I was editing the video and I, I drag and drop. I'm like. Oh, God. <laughs> oh no, I keep trying to drop it. I'm like, oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm, I'm, sink I'm sinking into my chair. I gotta take the headphones off. I'm yeah. like, oh, why did I just swing at this point? <laughs> if I'm thinking at some point. But yeah. have, you, have you seen, well, I know you have because I've seen your latest video, but have you seen many of the memes? I've seen all the memes. How, yeah. how do they make you feel? Uh, I sat with Harry. I was like, listen, lad, <laughs> come here. I was like, come here, me. We've got to watch the memes. Uh, some of them make sense. Some mm. of them are funny. Some yeah. of them are, some of the, the creative ones are funny. Yeah. And there's other ones I'm like, you die bastard. I should fucking strangle you right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mix of both. Mm. Yeah. But then again, it's certain I got it was a night that I got clotted. <laughs> so I'm reacting to just shit. I imagine, yeah. though, that like, because you lost, mm. people probably just have forgot that you can box. Do you know what I mean? So like, you're probably getting mouthy cunts in the DMs and that. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. seen, it's not, no, is it, is it not just, is it, see, I don't mind mm. like when fans fucking write messages, mm. but I see fucking YouTubers yeah. and they're chatting. Yeah. Like, fair enough if I fucking lost. I, can, I accept he, he got smoked. Mm. Yeah, I don't mind yeah. if someone says that. But when they're talking like they would do something different or he was uh -huh. he doing this yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't understand the pressure the not the pressure no. the amount of work that, yeah. and training that goes into it like yeah. i was sucked out of my element mm. going to vegas mm. to a professional boxing camp with professional boxers and just putting through the work did you did you feel out of your element when you when you were there when you were doing it or did was you just the, absorbed the, by it all the training or the just like just being surrounded by those kind of people yeah. and and what was the duration on the training camp? Just have interest. It was so I was training when I did the first podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was I training. Did I tell you that I was training with Vidal's dad when I, I was with? I'm you not lot? sure at that, that point. Mate. Top of my head. No. Yeah. So I started training with Vidal's dad uh, around November. Mm -hmm. I was always doing some pads with Leon, but then I started camp in November. This was before papers were signed. I was like, right, there's some mutters around, rumors going around. I said, it's, if it's going to be me, even though he's saying other names, I know it's going to be me. Yeah. So I started training during November with uh, 
for Dal's dad. We were training throughout December mm -hmm. as well. We Train on Christmas Day, New Year's. We Christmas were, Day, Christmas Man. Day, Fucking New Year's. Yeah, you, you, see, I don't celebrate Christmas. That's a big. Oh right, uh, okay. for, for oh, Derek doing that. That was big. Yeah. Right, I appreciate that. Also, oh, the people him. that were training you were do yes. do celebrate. Yeah, it. right, they do celebrate. So yeah. he was training me. What um, hours did you do Christmas Day? We did ten to one. 10 to Jeez. 1 10, 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Fucking man. Hell. Man, man, man. And then we trained the next day, the next day, same time. So yeah. we trained a lot. And uh, yeah, so that was before. Then we went to Vegas around the 5th of January. And I trained at Bones Adams with Vidal. It was the first time you trained with Vidal. Mm. Uh, Leon came as well. And uh, Jeff Mayweather was assistant coach. How'd you find Vegas? I didn't. I didn't see any of it. I no. was just training. Focus, focus. Yeah. Was that the first time you've been to Vegas? Yes, so? I went to the uh, to the not the camp, the strip once. Did you? Yeah, for like twenty minutes, just for some B roll shots. Mm. Yeah, that yeah. was it. Really? What? Yeah. Talk us talk us through what a fight camp actually is, because I hear a lot about it. You wait. Obviously, you wake up, train, you eat clean, you do all that. But but what what how how intense is it? What talk us through an average day in fight camp? Because we we did that fifty days of fitness, which we was did. just like an hour of fitness a day yeah. for fifty days. Yeah, that, that, that fucked us up. That broke me. <laughs> that broke me in two. Okay, yeah. so I had a I had obviously I would wake up. I had a I had actually had a chef that was living with me because nice. I had to make I had to make weight, mm -hmm. which was one eight eight to one nine three. I believe when I was here. I was 88 kilos, which I think is is 195. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But with the amount of training I was doing, I was losing so much weight, mm. and I had to make sure I was keeping. I was making sure that I had to maintain the weights so I was eating up. Funny on the weigh-in day, the, so the limit is 188 yeah. to 193. I went on on the fake scale, like some scales in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was 188.9. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, my manager was over my shoulder. He looked over. He said, "You're good. You're good." He left. I shut the door. I was like, "I guess I can pee." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I peed, and it was a lot of fucking piss. <laughs> I go on the scales, and it's flickering from one eight seven point nine to one eight eight. Two eight, eight. kilo piss. Yeah, so I'm I'm I'm, 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 put, I'm pushing down on the scales like it would do so. Yeah, 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 and luckily yeah. they were like one eight eight. It was just it was oh, just on the dot. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Fuck. Yeah. So what's your what was you gonna show us on your phone? Oh, so I uh, so I'd wake up uh, eight o'clock, big breakfast. Mm. It was uh so luckily it was a chef, so everything was healthy organic food. But like it would be. It'll be nice food. So I'd eat like healthy French toast, right? Have like right. Uh, pancakes and stuff. Oh shit! Then no, but so it was all healthy food. Yeah, yeah. I eat like a boxer then. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. It was like organic honey, and that she would do ways that would trick me into believing that the food was different than what it was. Yeah. Uh, so it would start off like that. Then I got my strength and conditioning session, which usually was like two hours. That would be a circuit, some pull-ups uh some shadow boxing shadow boxing was something so i actually couldn't skip right yeah, yeah i yeah. could i didn't know how to skip properly mm -hmm. and i remember derek he said when it comes to because we thought there would be a, a public workout he always said when it comes to the public workout don't skip lad mm -hmm. yeah yeah but i really? actually i actually managed to get quite good at it towards yeah, the end yeah. I, I found my motion towards it towards the end mm. yeah uh there would be like shadow boxing which was also a skill that I because I'd hear Vidal and Leon talk about like shadow boxing and they can pretend a whole fight. Yeah. And they they picture a person in front of them throwing jabs and I, I just can't I couldn't unlock it until fight week. Right. Until fight week and I had to tell myself a fake narrative. Mm. Right. But it took me until fight week to actually <clears throat> visualize a Donnie in front of me and a, me being in a ring and cornering someone and stuff like that. Yeah. So shadow boxing was something that I Come couldn't late. get my head around. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and then, so I train at eight, shadow box, all of that, or do all the stuff that Leon would tell me to do. I would eat again, twelve o'clock, nap, and then start training at six. It could be, oh, it could Jesus. be spar another two hour sparring session, <laughs> uh, not a two hour sparring session. It would be like pads, bag. Uh, then it could be a spar or some other work. So your intense. whole life. In, is consumed by that yes. in fight camp. Yes. You don't get a day off. So if I, I would, so it was twenty four seven with Vidal and Leon. Mm. So like I, even if I was in the in the house or the flat, and I was just on my computer, they're like, "What are you doing? Why aren't you watching boxing?" And they would be what? on it. Yeah, they would be Jeez. on me. Yeah, every little detail, I have yeah. to be on it. 
Wow. Like, you, you, your YouTube brain's on. You got to take this off. And even though I wasn't fucking making videos, yeah, yeah. yeah they're like YouTube hats on. You got to have your boxing brain on. So it's not even the physical side of it as well. It's like the no. mental side of it. All of it. Did you have to like scrape up on your boxing knowledge and stuff like <laughs> like uh, of past fighters and, and stuff like that? I would watch a few. Fo- so we try to do some. We try to aim for like a game plan at the beginning. Mm. It just wasn't suiting the way that I fought. So we had to change it, watch some different types of boxers. That was the only time, if I'm honest, that was the only time I'd watch boxing. I wasn't like mm. a boxing fan mm. before yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. So that was the time when I watched boxing. Mm. And yeah, that's how it went. Right. That's, that was like do, the day to day. Do you do you watch boxing differently now? So before I I do, I think now I also look at like the person that lost end. Like mm, I look I like, yeah, oh yeah. shit, how do you fuck up there? Like how does he feel after it? I would never really fucking view it like that. I would just look at it like who would won, how's he celebrating, what would he say down yeah, the mic, yeah, yeah. who's right. he calling out. But now i I guess I'd now have like now I have like a new perspective on it. Yeah. yeah. You you said at the start that you you were quite you thought of both outcomes. Yeah. But realistically, I always so I, obviously I always wanted to fucking win. But like mm. I wasn't, sh- I said like, all right, I could fucking lose it as well. So that's why I'm gonna train so fucking hard. Yeah, yeah. So it was always in my mind. Yeah, but do you think boxers are do think like that? Because when they go up on the uh, obviously when they go in the public eye, they're like, I'm winning 100. percent I'm winning. Yeah, but that's more to sell fights, I think. No, no. So I mean, no. So it might no, no, no. So when I, when I, I was not like I, it was a fear of mine, but like I would make sure that like right, I got to train this hard because there is a chance I could fucking lose this. Yeah. That's what mm. it'd be like. It wasn't like I was in fear of the loss. Yeah. Like I would just make it as like a motivational factor. Because then there's some people that, and that's the way that I viewed Logan and Jake, they can't fathom losing. Mm. Which I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing. Maybe it, it turned out good for Jake. Mm. But for Logan, it seemed like a a bad story to keep telling yourself because then when it happens, you can't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. So, so that's that's the that's the um, the fight camp. I want to talk yeah. a bit about? I know we spoke about it at the start, but I want to talk a bit about the press conference and the weigh in. Mm-hmm. You were obviously obligated to do them. Mm-hmm. You said yourself, it's not your forte. Mm-hmm. How nervous were you? Quite nervous. I think the the not when I say quite nervous, I had ten. Mm. I'd give it like a maybe like a three point five. But yeah. now, yeah. now I don't think I would be. Because I've yeah. done it now. Yeah. Now, now that I've done it, it was something because it maybe you know what I was thinking. I was like, shit, I should have done those gaming panels back in the day just to, <laughs> yeah. to weather me in, yeah. just to weather yeah. me into it. Yeah. I've never done anything like that. Do you think you'll do some yeah. gaming panels? Now? I think I will. You know, <laughs> yeah. I, will. I, need pu- I need to do public speaking. Yeah. If I do public speaking, 100%. I'll be good at it. Mm. It's just something you need to get used to. It's just something of I wasn't used to. It, are you are you happy with how uh, how they went? I could have done better. I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't I wasn't hundred percent me on stage. I could have done way better on stage. Right. But I feel like with practice that's how it comes. Like JJ and Logan and Jake mm. have all done shit like that. Yeah. yeah. They've always done panel stuff. They've done tours. They've done this. Mm. That was my first fucking it was my first time and they're like, right, beef this done. I'm like, oh <laughs> yeah. fuck. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. it's the first yeah. time. So no, no disrespect to you whatsoever, but yeah. it was mad seeing you up there. Like because you do you JJ's obviously the guy, and yeah. the UK guy. Logan's obviously like the US guy. Yeah, yeah. You've got the like Jake Jake's the prodigy the prodigy. Yeah. And then there's just you, the FIFA <laughs> player. Like, it is kind of mad. It is it's yeah. very mad. Like yeah. it shouldn't have happened, but it did. Yeah. But it's class though it's still a story it's still course, a story yeah. you don't, nothing no you can't take anything away from the loss no, like no 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 so obviously the opportunity was great and it got me to like a good stage for my career that's mm. the positives mm-hmm. the money was good but i wanted to win yeah, yeah. of course I, wanted to win. I don't care about that i wanted to win if, if yeah. you were if you were offered yeah you're gonna have to look deep inside yourself for this answer <laughs> if you were offered mm. the same fight again imagine we're gone back in time you're offered the same fight the same purse, mm-hmm. the same outcome. Would you take it? Same outcome? Yeah. No. You wouldn't. No, wait, the same outcome? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So. No. No? no. So, so based on that then, in a theoretical oh, wait, wait, world, wait, wait. in a theoretical world. But it's happened now. So I get, so it's happened now. So yes, if, right now, if you ask me now. Right. It's happened now. So I guess yes. What? But mm. if you ask me at the beginning. Yeah. It's a no. Would you take that out? No, because yeah. that means would you take it would, just for, for a loss? Would, no. would you take the win? Would you go back in time, take the win, but you don't get a penny? Of course. Yeah. 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 Of course. yeah. I'm not now going to preach to you, but like when you see Jake and he's yeah. a bastard mm. and then you see you and you're a lovely guy, mm. a humble guy, 
it's it's such a it's such a difference in character that that was like that i thought you'd win i thought you'd win i think all the uk yeah. did but i when we came to this is such a little thing that i noticed as well but when we came to the first press conference there was a little bit and you won't remember this because this will be nothing in in your schedule but you do you remember when we first saw gib right yeah, yeah, and he's yeah. he's come walking through the crowd and like people are filming him i was trying to get a bit of b-roll for my video mm. and then um some guy, there's like this little, what's it called with a little um, fence, like the little gate with like the bit the of rope. Felt, the rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you've got confused and you've walked all the way back to go round and they're like, Ali, just, cu- just come through here. And you're yeah. like, oh, what, can I just go through there? And they're like, you're the fucking VIP. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> thought, that's so lovely. Like, even yeah. at your press conference, you're yeah. like, I'm just going to go. I got to be a dick. I got to be a dick. It's your yeah. show, no, man. I feel like, no, because you know what? Because when you see some people, they actually treat people like dicks. Right. I realize that out there, that there's like a hierarchy, in America especially, that I feel like there's like a hierarchy system mm. on people in, in groups and everything. I feel like yeah. people chat. A little bit bad to some people that are, uh, and I I can't say a position lower than them, but like you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, know, I, know, I, know, I know what you mean. I'm sounding bad right now. No, you know, no, no. I know what you yeah, mean. Hundred yeah, yeah. percent. So I, if someone said you can't pass through this thing, I'd just go around. Yeah, then, yeah. That's yeah. fair enough. You didn't get too big for your boots. No. Yeah, well, you yeah. can. No. 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 Yeah. When, when 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 you're at events like that, like the press conference and yeah. stuff, I know I know you've done the face to face upstairs, but how often do you bump into Jake in the back? stage type area there was only it was just the the weigh-in day so in the weigh-in day i woke up at 9 30 and uh uh they're like do you want to just get a private weigh-in and go upstairs like all right cool i go up and all the fighters are there and jake's there with his wbc belt oh, as well. oh man uh, it, was, it wasn't great i don't think the boxers appreciate it the no, the, yeah. the thing is i wanted the storyline like, i'm gonna take your belt lad yeah but yeah. then when i saw like when he was carrying it around the actual boxers, yeah, it put me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But he can do what he wants. He, he beat me, so I guess he can do what yeah. he wants. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you, so you bumped into him up there. Yeah, just up there. We did the weigh in. He did his weigh in. There, it's, it wasn't any problems. That what? What? Not, nothing said. Nah, nothing the fat Azadi bloke kept trying. You know what? <laughs> there was a drug test, and yeah. we it was maybe a private drug test, mm. but uh, they sent us to. Uh, like a, one of those, like it was just like a waiting room, mm. and it was on uh on the weigh-in day, and we were going to be late, and it's just me, a couple people, and Jake and Shane Mosley and Azadi just in this public waiting room, <laughs> for forty-five minutes, just wow. sitting, forty-five sitting, minutes, we're waiting for our names to get. <laughs> yeah, forty-five That's minutes. We're just sat there. Azadi's next to me, just trying to chat. She's like, "Oh, do you have problems booking private jets? I bet you that's not in your world." Yeah, he's, oh, he's, my he's God. a numpty. He's a numpty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, do you remember when we spoke to Mike at the at yeah. the event? Like, I have only like in the last week found out who that Azadi bloke is. Yeah. I, I had no clue. I don't watch Logan shit. I don't know anything about him. And um, we were interviewing Mike for the for the video that we did, the Greg Paul video, and uh, he's got these Yes Man T-shirts made up. And yeah. do, you, do you see how excited he was? He went, yeah. "Do you know who made these shirts?" And I went, "No." And he went, "Azadi." And I went, "I don't know. I don't know who that is. I, I still don't know who that is." <laughs> he's so a he's, weird. He's cool. He, I think he calls himself Jake's right hand man. <laughs> So he wipes his ass, he yeah. feeds him, he, he, he does the lot. He's a, I shouldn't be chatting shit. No, he's no, he he still chatting shit. He's a bit weird, but does it? He's just a weird bloke that fucking hangs around with Jake. <laughs> he just chatting shit to me in the patient's room. Yeah. And it wasn't even good shit. You know, because I was speaking to him, I was like, I was thinking through his head. He was like, Do you have problems booking private jets? And I was like, What's this fucking conversation? Yeah, yeah. It's just fun. It's just Cringy. weird. It's yeah, just yeah. weird. Yeah. yeah. Do do you um do you do you preempt what Jake's going to be saying to you at these press conferences? And do you write comebacks or cusses? <laughs> I, feel, I feel like that's what I should have done, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't. I just yeah. said, right. Today's the day. Yeah. Press conference. I see what because the uh, the face to face. I know. No one fucking told me. That what, that you were doing it? No, so I was just in my hotel room. They're like, Jake's upstairs. Uh, come up in three minutes or he or in five minutes or uh, or he's leaving. Oh, so my God. Said, Why is it on so, his watch? So, so I called him. I said, uh, I called whoever was saw him. I was like, time to leave. I said, I'm getting a massage done and mm. bye-bye. Yeah. Um, so he left. And then they said, right, and he's left now. He's on his way back. We're going to record it in 10 minutes. So they just threw it on me like just before the press conference right but apparently that was just talks i i felt like they tried to just fucking spring on me yeah but yeah. apparently 
there was neg- speak- uh, schedule problems or something like that. But shit, I don't know why they'd spring it on you because surely they would get a better piece of content if you can sit down and actually plan yeah. for what you're going to say about this guy. Do you know mm. what I mean? Yeah. But uh, who who knows? Who, who knows? There's yeah. lots of whispers and mutters of what yeah. was planned and what was done. But... You you can probably say this now, whereas before the fight you probably couldn't mm. have. What do you? Do you care care about Jake? Is it a real beef? Like, what do you think of him? I always say, I don't fucking hate him. I right. don't fucking, but nah, yeah. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I, I want to beat him. Yeah, I want to yeah. beat him, and I want to, I want to fight, I want to fight again and build and get that fight again. But will it happen? Who knows? Yeah, yeah. But that's what I do want. Yeah, that's what I do. Want. Well, was the was the motivation to beat Jake Paul, or mm. was it to elevate your status within within the YouTube hierarchy? I don't. I don't think I ever thought like that. Yeah. No, I don't think I ever thought like that. I was just like, I just want to get another fight done. Yeah, yeah. I think that's how I th- how I thought. Yeah, I didn't think oh, you know what? If I yeah, I did fucking think it was gonna be a big fight. Of course, I thought it was gonna yeah, be a big yeah, fight, but yeah. I didn't yeah. like say oh, my views are gonna tenfold yeah. and this is gonna yeah. te- and my status and my, I didn't think like that. It's happened now, but so it's quite nice. But yeah. I yeah. never really thought like that. Yeah, you still you as you as you say like you still finessed him like you still got you still got there like yeah. and and that is a that is a big step so you should be proud on based on that alone. But uh, we will speak about the fight unfortunately no <laughs> when we come back after this short break. Let's get some water. Hello and welcome back to Jack Mates. Happy hour. Still got the boys to my left, to my right, and Gib across from me. Gib, mm-hmm. you wake up in the morning, mm-hmm. it's fight day. Mm-hmm. Everything you planned for, you're here. Mm-hmm. What's the first thing going through your head? What are you thinking? Most, so Weller approached me a day before and said, oh, are you sleeping? Right. I was like, I was, was going to ask that. Yeah, I was like, oh. I, was, I was all right until you, you mentioned this. And then <laughs> I was worried about my sleep. I, I woke up nine o'clock mm. and I, I felt the adrenaline through my system, mm. I was shadow boxing in my room, looking at myself in the mirror. I'm like, I'm ready to fight right now. Too then true. I said, it's, it's too too early yeah. for this. Cold shower immediately. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was I had to even change the types of songs that I was playing, something like low beat, because I could feel myself getting fight ready too soon. During the day I was eating, a few of the boys swung around. I spoke to them, had mm. a meal with them. Uh, I even had a nap during the day. Then when I woke up from the nap, it was about Four o'clock, woke up at six. So, right, I'm getting a coach in an hour. Pack all my stuff, groin guard, my new robe, my new shorts, uh, gloves, gum shield, bag around. I see everyone in the lobby wearing the team track suits. I'm like, right, it's time. I get in the car. Uh, I call, I call some of my parents. I call uh, Derek, the old trainer. Just say thank you for all the training. We go in. Uh, they say uh, there's no locker rooms. You're in an RV. So I'm like, fine. Yeah, we go in. And uh, there's some media obligations when you come in. There's the camera. There's There was Ethan waiting for me in the RV. Mm. There's someone lovely to see. At least it's a familiar face. Quick interview before I start getting changed. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, yes, yeah, pause. we wait until the card's moving along. I start putting on my gear. Are you watching any of the fight? Any of the fights? No fights. We're not watching any fights. No. Uh, I think someone someone in the room was watching fights, but I was just getting my raps done. Mm-hmm. Someone was looking over the raps. The referee comes in and people were some people are confused, but I was told before in the locker room about the three knockdown rule. So I was mm, told okay. that if they if you are knocked down three times, we cancel the fight. He was obviously saying, "Listen to me when I say you box, you box." If in the event that you get knocked down, he was he was running me through just yeah. the logistics mm-hmm. of his rules. Uh, I go in. Uh, so I, uh, I'm getting wrapped by Stitch. Someone's watching over, and uh, it, we're nearing to the fight. It's time to warm up. Are the nerves building? The closer no, no, no nerves, no nerves. Wow. So, uh, th- so I was nervous throughout the day, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but when it came to not nerves, but just anxious, I was like, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah. yeah. And then when it came to to arriving at the event, I was quite gassed because mm. I, I see this fucking stadium. I'm like, is that the first time you'd seen the stadium? First, first wow. time I've seen the stadium. See, to me, that seems like <gasps> what you sh- what, should you not have familiar. checked it out. We like, should have. I know yeah. we should have. I know we should have. <laughs> so we, che- we actually checked it out. Uh, an hour before, an hour before we went into the RV, just to see. I was like, "Oh, where's the walkout? Okay, it's over there." Uh, 
we're walking out there. I said, where's everyone sitting? They're sitting over there. I was like, oh shit, I thought they were ringside. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, it is what it is. Yeah. I go into the, I go into the RV. Uh, like I said, now I'm warming up. Uh, I'm skipping. I'm mm -hmm. doing a few drills, slip, hook, roll, right hand, all that stuff. Mm. Uh, some of Jake's, members were outside they were recording me warming up i was, like, I was looking at them i was like record me boys we're, we're fighting an hour what's it mean yeah yeah, yeah yeah so uh we were warming up uh then we go back in because uh fights kept going to the distance I was yeah. like, bastard, you bastards i was ready right now yeah, 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 yeah i go in i go back out again warm up boom ali get ready uh i walk out mm -hmm. i hear my song and uh, i had to i couldn't really hear it I had to guess. I had to guess where the beat drop was for me to do my turn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I did my turn. Uh, I arrived, and I'm in the ring. I hear because I've never walked out first. I didn't even prepare to think uh, what it was like to walk out first. I hear Lee he said, "Put your hands up. Put your hands up." And I was like, "Hey, boys!" <laughs> so I'm walking around. I was like, "All right, I might as well give people a bow at this point." Bow, yeah. bow, bow. Uh, I saw ever all the UK boys. Mm. I waved up to them. Uh, and then you hear Jake's music. I see he's. Uh, He's waiting, so I'm like, all right, I gotta keep warm because mm. I've got a good sweat on. I don't want to get cold. Nerves at this point? No nerves. Right. No mm -hmm. nerves. So I, if you can watch your back, I, I was, I was focusing the game to fight. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You're mouthing something to yourself, aren't you? Oh shit! I, can't. I, I'm swear you did because I know JJ was doing that, and I think yeah. I spotted that from you as well. Like this is my time or something like that. I thought your, your head's in this game. <laughs> your head's in this game. I, I, that every, I, I was probably saying pepper time. Yeah, I'm probably saying pepper time. Yeah, so I was getting ready, and then Jake, he's walking around. He walks to my corner, mm -hmm. and I, uh, I can see he's, he's coming to my other corner to try and mark his territory. But he goes around to the corner, and I look at him. I said, right, he's not. He's not as focused as me. This is what I'm thinking at the time. I'm like, yeah. he's not as focused as me right now. I'm I'm zoned in. I'm locked in. Mm -hmm. uh, Vidal's talking to me. I'm listening to Vidal. How then, much of that is going in? Cause it's you... going in. He's like, right. Well, he was telling me what to do. Just uh, be low. Stay annoying. Mm. Be, keep the pressure on him. And ding, ding. I'm like, okay. And then it was time it. to yeah, go. Go time. There, no nerves. Yeah. It felt like a sparring. Honestly, before... Yeah. I used to say like the Swingler and Max fight, it was like a dream nearly. I don't right. actually remember the fight. I just remember the footage I watched. This one was like a sparring match. I heard a rumor that you come alive in the third round. Mm. So Vidal got you to spar two full rounds backstage before you went out. Is that true? I think we were meant to do that, but we did pads. There was right. No, there was no sparring. Okay. Oh, yeah, because I thought you'd come out and you'd already nah. had two. two oh, and nah, I, did round, yeah. I did rounds of pads, but no sparring. Right. Yeah. What? So, ding, ding. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, Talk us through it. Yeah, it starts. It starts. Uh, I listened to what Vidal told me. He said, stay low, be annoying. And if you see for the first minute, I'm slipping the jabs... In and out, we were slipping them well as well. In the first minute, mm. it was class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 In the first minute, it was class. Yeah. He threw, he threw a, a left hook. He, I duck under it, right hand, left hook. Mm -hmm. He catches me with a left hook at the same time. Clinch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then goes, uh, it goes again. How does it go? I've seen it enough times. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I duck and weave. He catches me with a couple jabs. Another clinch. I try and push him off hook. He dips his head to my shoulder. Yeah. And the part where it goes tits up. Yes. Is now I was taught this in throughout the whole of camp. Okay. Thing is, I need to demonstrate it. Yeah, to mate. Mm. Can I demonstrate? Of course you can. I'll, I'll talk you through what's going on. It would be my, my honor. <laughs> stand up. Okay, here we go. Bend your knees. Stand up in my position. Bend yeah. your knees. If I push you, yeah. you're not moving. Uh, yeah? Yeah. You're falling back. Yes. You're falling back. That's what happened. Yes. He came across here and you jabbed gone. me. Yeah. And then I stumbled back. Yes. It wasn't even a hard jab. Right. But he thinks he's rocked me. Yeah. He puts me off rhythm. Yeah. And that's when I fucked. So. So, so I was I was too busy filming that than yeah. actually listening, which was a bit of a fuck from me. But what? but so what did you say? So he rocked you with that. He, he didn't rock me. It was off so he so kind, that he kind of came round. He came and round, pushed you backwards, pushed me backwards, to, and I'm yeah. trying to catch my balance. Yes. Is this yeah. the first slip? The first slip. It's not. That wasn't count as a knockdown. Yet, oh that, right. That's when I went like. To yes. The, to it the almost corner. looked like you were about to do a squat. Yes. As you were coming, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was coming back trying to catch my balance. Yeah. Then 
I think he catch he catches me with a good right hook. Yes. Now that is what dropped me the first time. Mm-hmm. So I get up, and I know that there was a breathing technique. They said, right, if you ever get hurt, do this breathing technique. So I was like, right, I've done, uh, I didn't feel hurt at the time. I was like, was I off balance again? Mm-hmm. Or did I get it? Because I didn't feel it. But when I watch it back, my legs actually, they fell through. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. In my nature. Yeah. In my nature, I want to go back and claw him now. Yeah, <laughs> composure, composure. But that's not composure. what you should. That's not what you should do. Mm. That's not what you should do. You, have, no. you need to recover. Yeah, and that's where the not with like my not enough experience. Yeah, I not learn from that. Yeah, because yeah. so then like sorry. I, yeah, so I kept go. No, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. No, I was just gonna say because obviously there's there's criticism of of like your stance and your balance, yeah. your legs. Yeah. I wasn't sure if maybe you there was nerves in there, jelly legs, or what what was going on there with nah, the legs. So I think the legs. I I, th- I was just hurt. I think yeah. so. Looking back at it, I was hurt, and I would just, I just kept going to war. Mm. So had, I kept going to war. Had you been hit like that in, in sparring? I've been, I've, I've been hit harder, but it's the ten ounce gloves. Yeah. yeah. Do, do, gloves. do you not, do you not spar with ten ounce gloves? <clears throat> that was one session. <laughs> yeah. One, you're not meant to. No. Yeah. Right. You're not meant to. Yeah. yeah. Take note, and, boys. Yeah. Because, <laughs> uh, because it's, so I was sparring with the Dow's dad. Said, right, I'm going to put these ten ounce gloves on. Yeah, and I'm gonna spar you today. Shit. Yeah, I said I'm gonna snitch to the Dow lad. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, "Don't snitch." Yeah, he said, "Don't yeah. snitch." I said, "I said, just no, I ain't afraid of this." Yeah. So we're gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. We do it. He's a bigger. He's 116 kilo bloke. Shit. Okay, and he, guy, he yeah, he's a big guy. He didn't hit me with a full force, but yeah. he's letting me know yeah. what's there. Mm. Yeah. He's letting me know what's there. Few combinations done on me. Yeah. He said. After the end of the session, like right now, you know what ten ounce gloves are like. Yes. Wow. Yeah. When when the ref comes in and stops the fight, it was a shock to me and all the boys that were up watching. Mm. A massive shock. Yeah. I'm not a big boxing fan, mm. so instantly I go to your defense. I'm like, that's too early. That's too early. I didn't know about the knockdown rules. Yeah. I was chatting shit. Yeah? yeah. What is going through your head? That must be like a blur. That must be like such a hazy memory, no? Or do you remember it like yesterday? Gutted. Yeah. yeah. Gutted. Because yeah. the thing is, even though I say I was hurt, like it, it in the sense of I wasn't hurt in the sense of like, oh, I'm getting because there was there was one the three knockdowns. There was one where it, it I drop mm-hmm. and I get back. Then there's another one where it's a tap. He hooks me and then walks to the side. It's not powerful, it's like a more of a mm. push and I go against the ropes. Mm. My knee hits. Yeah, and then if any body contact hits, it counts as a knockdown. Oh yeah. right. Yeah. Then the third one, my glove t- he hits me, and I try and catch my balance again. Glove touches. Fuck. So, yeah. but I was but I was hurt from the right the initial right hook. Mm. I was meant to back off. Yeah, yeah. So when it first happened, I'm like, ah. Mm. Instantly, are you gutted? Of course. Yeah. Of course you are. Yeah. So, uh, when I when I was when I was watching it, and yeah. and, uh, and and I've watched it back a few times, yeah. I just I kind of felt like. If you just got to the fucking bell, I mm. feel like you would have come out and composed a lot stronger. Yeah, I feel like if, yeah, if the dial had got you in the corner, there was there was because the first the moments I was cutting down the ring very well, but I wasn't. I didn't like there was two points where he was even cornered, but I didn't capitalize on it. Yeah, and there he, was he gets out quite well, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. So I didn't I didn't pressure him when he when I had him when I had the ring cut off. I didn't put the brakes on quick enough. Mm. And uh, yeah, that's what, that's all she got throw, isn't it? From what I saw, I, I, see, I see like Jake being quite a good counter-attacking boxer. Mm. Obviously, he had the height and the reach. I just feel like he just utilized that very well mm. against what you were trying to achieve. Mm-hmm. Is, you know? is it a case of you underperforming or Jake being better than you imagined? I don't think Jake was better than I might. I think, I think that it, it was my fuck ups. Right. I think, but no, it wasn't my fuck up because he also fucking clawed me. So I don't think <laughs> it was my fuck up. Yeah. So he also, but there was just things I did. Just did silly. There yeah. was things I did silly. I didn't. There was. So we got to give it to him. He got. He caught me with a, a mean right hook. Mm-hmm. He hooked me. He actually no. He did very well because he hooked me. Kept it here and he got me off balance, which is what you're meant to do. Mm. Yeah. And he caught me again for the final knockdown. Mm. So he did what he was meant to do, but then I watched it. I was like, just if I did this. Yeah. yeah. Just if I did this. You can't let you so you can't get eaten up by it though. Uh, it will yeah. consume you. Yeah, of course. Exactly. Yeah. Of course exactly. Not. When you when you're there and you've got all of these things to worry about, you've got this mm. guy trying to punch you in the fucking head. Mm. Are you aware of the 
of any of the chants or any of the crowd, or is that just background noise? Is that background just background noise? Is it? Mm. Yeah. Is it? And the fight, yes. Well, before the ref stopped it, mm. in your heart of hearts, did you think you might it it, it might be game over? I was like, this is a bit rough. in my in my head. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. I was like, when I first got dropped, I was like, was that off balance? Because no, because I, I I wobbled. Yeah, I wobbled. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. No, so oh, you know oh, when oh. I showed you the yes. the push. Yeah. Bang, bang, so bang. I was I wasn't sure. I was like, was that a drop or was it off balance? Yeah. I then thought when, it was off balance. Yeah. Personally. So that that's off balance. Me looking back at it. Then when yeah. he dropped me again, I was like, again. Oh, is, is yeah. that off balance or am I hurt? Yeah. So I didn't know I was hurt till after the fight. Mm. At the time, I just think I was a bit confused to what was. Which one was it? Mm. Yeah. And then in my head, I'm like, he's just done it. He's done it to me twice now. I gotta get him back. Yeah. 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 So it yeah. just kept going like that. I think. Mm. Yeah. How, how do you how do you think Jake acted? Do you think he acted graciously in the win, or uh, did he act how you would have acted? Did you speak to him after the fight at all? I spoke to him after the fight. Afterwards, I said, uh, "Is this backstage? This is. We're seeing the doctor just as we walk off. So to be, he earned his moment." Yeah. He did his victory speech. Yeah. I felt like I would have had my own victory speech. Yeah. I would have, I would have been a good sportsman, but I had I, obviously you think of what what you're gonna say yeah. when you win. Yeah. Uh afterwards we shook hands. Uh he said, I hope we can be friends someday. We deserve to go a bit longer. Uh, all good sportsmanship stuff. No more right. beef there. I never really had a squabble with it. I just wanted yeah. to scrap him. Could you could you hear like the boys up on the balcony chanting the hairline thing? I watched by, I so watched, I watched by the footage and uh, you'd hear me. He turns over. I'm like, oh, lads, you should give him his moment now. He won. Yeah. yeah. That's the most British thing ever, isn't yeah. it? Just completely humiliating <laughs> someone. Does, does he shush us? I think he shushes yeah. us because yeah, yeah, yeah. he stops the speech and he turns and he does something. I can't see it on the footage yeah. back, but I'm pretty sure he shushed us. Well, I was smashed by that point. <laughs> I was smashed. You got thrown out moments after that yeah uh which we'll we'll talk, we'll talk about that at the end but yeah by the police all right we'll talk about it now I, w- I, w- sorry, sorry. I would know that's fine i was interviewing logan at yeah. the time yeah. and logan was very calm composed yeah. and i was smashed and i was uh, <laughs> i was probably chatting shit i was like what? Well, the rest stopped it too early logan's <laughs> like it's a free knockdown oh, mate, he's telling yeah. me and then out of nowhere this is the most timid guy as you can yeah. probably tell yeah. he's the most yeah. timid guy. i'm not a fight or anything i just hear logan just stops the interview this is outside at yeah. the end and he just goes yo i think your boy's getting fucked and i just <laughs> look and there's a big security guard but grabbing you, him around the neck he oh, fucked fucking me up. Hell. Well, really, what did you do you got a tattoo for i just realized i recognize you from saying you got uh, a tattoo it's the story of my fucking life <laughs> man losing the tattoo yeah. 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 the hair hasn't grown back yeah. <laughs> get it out yeah, <laughs> yeah. For life. yeah. Good, that. yeah. <laughs> that's embarrassing, that isn't it? Story. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Well, I'll tell you what else is embarrassing: being thrown out. Right, do yeah, you want so the full what, story? What did you, actually, actually, what did you actually do? Right, there's context. <laughs> that to was this. what was going through my head. <laughs> <laughs> One minute he's filming me, the next minute he's being thrown out. Oh, right, so um, I come out late with uh, Simon and Talia. Yeah. Right, and this security guy. Uh, comes up to us this like huge like skinhead guy like just completely dwarfs me and he was like yo brother you can't be back here and i was like oh okay my mates are over there can i just wait for them please and he was like what part of (laughs) what did he say (laughs) what part of get out of here don't you understand and i had had a couple of gins by this point and so i said oh i think it was the word part what does that mean (laughs) and he's he's just like and i was like what's what's your name mate and he's like damien (laughs) i've been like Damien, just <laughs> I used his oh, name. No, you <laughs> I imagine the same. Yeah. This guy's like that. Yeah. And he's going, Damien. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've gone, Damien. Please, just let me go and yeah. see my friends. Anyway, yeah. he's had to go and deal with something else. And you've gone, Alfie, come over. So we've gone over to you, and then you grab Logan. So I start filming you two. And then Damien comes back. Oh, fuck. And he goes, brother, what the fuck did I tell you? You gotta fucking get out of here, man. You can't be here. And I was like, mate, I'm just filming an interview. Can you just, you're picking up on the audio. And, uh, <laughs> and, um, uh, job job and, first. Yeah. Always and he's job gone, first. you can hear this on the audio. He goes, you don't have the right credentials. And I went, mate, I'm just filming an interview. I promise I'll go afterwards. And then he steps in front of the camera oh. and pushes it down, like, out of my hand. Oh, and this is when I fucked up, because then I started patronising him, being a gobby little c- 
cunt. Hang on, hang on. You were doing that five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I go, Damien, Damien. Oh, <laughs> no. I went, Damien, just relax. Oh, no. And before I know it, he's fucking clocked me in the back of the head. He's choking me. <laughs> he, gets one arm here. <laughs> he gets one arm here. Now, in my head, I thought You've I was still cool. Got as, him. I thought I was being cool as fuck. I'm like, go <laughs> fuck out. But in the audio, you can literally hear me going, ah! ah, ah. <laughs> That's funny. So he starts taking me out no. by the throat and he's whispering in my ear, if I fucking tell you to leave, you fucking leave, you kidding oh me? Oh my and God. I, I'm shitting myself, man. <laughs> so then I start like kicking off. All the, also, I'm like the only fucking guy in a suit as well. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. so, we turned yeah. up in a suit yeah, and no so one else Everyone else was, else was so suit. casual. Yeah. So I bucked my head and tried to get out. And before I know it, the police are just like, Oh, they cut oh, me from either yeah. side, mate. Put me in this hold. Um, and they're like dragging me out. I didn't speak, I, I didn't, I didn't speak to the police. <laughs> well, you fight I, was, the police. I, I was shouting, I've been assaulted. I've been, I was like, you no. should be arresting him. And I, I left him for 20 minutes. I was like, I don't know what's going on. I'll leave it. I come back 20 minutes later and he's there just going, but do you not think that's a bit odd that he's got me in a... In a... <laughs> was like, Has Damien been tested? I think he's got problems. <laughs> leave it, Alfie. We'll leave it. I got the head Amazing. of security and I said to him, look, I just want to make you aware that you've got a, <laughs> you've got somebody unstable working for you. He's no, you someone. didn't. Yeah. Oh, I see. I when see I was in America, I just thought I'm not going to fuck with anyone because these people have guns. Gib, uh -huh. um, we've we've gone through the fight. Um, you've been very gracious about it. I want to go to um, just finish on on some like post fight. Like, how's your life been post fight? Like, what, firstly, what was the reaction of your friends, your family? Uh, so far, beginning. Uh, Everyone was quite nice about it. Yeah. Mm. Now, now that it's a week gone by, people are testing the waters. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, please, boys. Yeah. Boys, boys, I get enough. Please. Yeah, yeah they're testing the waters. Uh, but that's about it. I'm still obviously a bit upset about the loss, mm -hmm. as you should be, because I worked hard towards it. Not so, it wasn't, it wasn't a, a cash grab, even though I had this heaven figure gibber shit. It wasn't a cash grab. Mm. It wasn't... I wanted to win, and I worked incredibly hard so i should be upset about it but now it's time to to move on or Fair i got play. the pits to the to the right <laughs> <laughs> stay away from the pits mate are you, are you going back to the fifa content no fifa content no there might be some <laughs> right, yeah. there might be some but it won't be anytime soon what what's next sure. for you what are you going to do what are you going to knuckle down with pez <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm, I'm finally happy now that I don't have to make fifa videos and mm -hmm. I get I think I've got to showcase to the build up of the fight what type of content I can do mm -hmm. and I'm excited to I don't know the path yet yeah, but yeah. it's going to be more real life content so yeah, yeah. man mm. I, awesome. uh, do you think you'll ever fight deji I ever <laughs> fight deji yeah <laughs> If he's up for it, I'll fucking do it. Oh. <laughs> I want to fight. I want to. I want to fight like go. within two months. Right. That's oh, what wow. I want to do. I want to fight Deji. within within two three months. I want to fight. Deji, you heard it here first. He wants to fight. Yeah, we want to see it. We want to yes. see. It. I was watching. How many YouTubers out there are willing to scrap? Not many. Not many. You get mouthy yeah. cunts like me who sit here and go, "Yeah, yeah, I'll do it." I wouldn't fucking do it. <laughs> That's it. So fair play to those that actually do do it. Mm. I was watching a Deji video the other day. Yeah. Right. Have you seen the rea Deji's reaction to you and Jake fighting? <laughs> it is. It's, 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 well, that's what I mean. It's the worst. Have you seen there's, it? There's, I haven't seen it. Have you seen um, it? I can't watch his videos. Yeah. There's, some, there's people that are talking mm. like they know mm. what goes in yeah. and they don't understand. Yeah. I, you know what? I fucking thought I understood. Mm. Yeah. And then until I did it, and then it's like, a different ball mm. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mm. a different ball game doing a professional fight and doing an actual professional boxing camp. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a completely different ball game. See, that's, so that's why I think the boxing community, when the whole YouTube boxing initially come on the scene, I mm. think that's why professional, but there, there was a bit of like almost offense, mm. wasn't there? Because, it, like you say, it is a completely different ball game. It's mm. like, fuck me, I've literally spent my whole life for this. And yeah. you think you can just stroll in here. Mm. So before, before it would just be two hours a day, this yeah. camp was 24 7. Exactly. Yeah. It didn't yeah. end. That's mad. Different, different, different. Active recovery days. We're going on a seven mile hike in the in the canyons. We're like, we, mm. we went through it. I yeah. we went through yeah. it. Running out Mount Charleston with high altitude runs and spar elite sparring partners. I went, I'd had a physio with the chef. I tried to do everything by 
that an actual boxer that was co-main event would do. Mm. Yeah. That's what I tried to do. I got I didn't cut <clears> any <throat> corners. Yeah. Mm. No, fair play fair though. Fair, yeah, fair, play, yeah, fair, fair play. Fair play. Um Deji, going back to Deji, <laughs> uh I was I watched the reaction. When I watched the fight back the the, the morning after, I saw someone's comment was like uh, and it sounded like this person knew what they were on about. I don't know what I'm on about. It was like, oh, um, Gibbs gone for the peekaboo s- style, blah, 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 blah. I've Googled, I've gone peekaboo. Is that a real thing? Yeah. I've Googled it. It's a real thing, right? Mm. Tyson so, style, yeah. Right, yeah. So I carry on reading the comments. A few of them are just chatting shit, but a majority of them, they seem like they know what they're on about. Mm. Went on Deji's reaction. He word for word, <laughs> he goes, oh, he's, his peekaboo style's all right. I'm like... I've read that comment. All I did was roll. All I did was roll. A peekaboo is, is going back and forth and rolling. All I did was roll. I was just rolling. I was just rolling and being low. I, was, yeah. I had an awkward stance. I was a bit too low. Yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah. it wasn't the peekaboo style. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah. the peekaboo style. It was the gib style. I was just low. And then, and then Deji and then Deji goes, oh, yeah, the peekaboo style. I'll tell you what, what, what you should have done. Actually, no, no, I'm not going to give away my tactics, man. I was like, no one gives a shit up. about <laughs> dead cheese tactics. I've been watching, like, going, oh, I'll make some notes of this yeah, yeah. in case I ever fight dead oh, cheese. He wants, he wants the Jake fight. Yeah. He wants the Jake fight, but nah, no. also, I don't think he's training. Yeah, I don't think he's putting in the work and training. He so, reckons yeah. he's not stopped, but I mean, he didn't even finish fight camp when he was in it last <laughs> time. So, oh, yeah. so uh, not, not, not a fan of him. Uh, big question. I don't even know if you can answer this. Oh. JJ said quite publicly, didn't he? And he also said to us on the night that if Jake beats you, mm. he'll fight him. He also, however, said to me, I said to, to him, I was like, you've got, a, you've, you've got a back give, haven't you? You've got to back give. He was like, no, 100% he's going to win. Obviously, he didn't. Mm-hmm. Do you think he'll come, come good on that, on that promise to Jake? Do you think? Does he, he doesn't need to get in there. doesn't no. need to do it. Will he do it? Will JJ fight Jake? What do you think? They they did their square off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They did they did all the talking. Mm-hmm. When's it gonna happen though? Who knows? I don't know. So that would there, sell. That there, would sell though, wouldn't it? Would it would sell. <sighs> yeah. There's many things I don't know. I, Jay's also not popping as well. So yeah. The risk that it's now JJ's kind of in Jake's situation when he took me. The risk to reward factor. Mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I think he's in that kind of situation. Mm. Does it level out? Because JJ's currently up here right now. Mm-hmm. And Jake isn't. Jake's, yeah. Jake's yeah. not. Has Jake's views not gone up or anything since the fight? Unfortunately not. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately not. Yeah. You've, you've sparred JJ, haven't you? I've sparred with him during KSI Logan 1. Oh, so a long time ago. Yes. A but long time ago. Because I... the second fight had nothing to do with the first fight we had a camp oh uh, okay because i thought we'd be able to tell a lot about uh well jj if it say he had sparred you recently he would then be able to try and gauge how well it'd do against I jake based on those the, i did the lightest spar with him at the beginning of ksi logan pool 2 right the lightest okay. that was when he was fat yeah mm. that was when he was fat so yeah we did uh no it wasn't anything does part of you want another go at jake before Course, JJ does. Of course, I would have took a. There was a, a rematch, rematch clause. clause. I would have yeah. fucking. I would have done it. I would have fight yeah. the next week or. I'm fit. I'm fit. Yeah. I'm fit. Yeah. And I was. Yeah. I, the first round done. I'm like. I'm not. I'm not even fucking out of breath here. Yeah. So if there was just. If there was just. If there was just one less knockdown. Yeah. I mm. just had a recoup. Yeah. I would want a rematch. As soon as I could. Yeah. Fight, I, I can tell you'd fight him tomorrow, wouldn't you? If of you course. Could. Of course. Yeah. I need yeah. to within my soul. Mm. Within my soul. Mm. I need to get a scrap again. Yeah, yeah. I think you'll do it. Whether that's Deji, whether that's Jake, I don't mm. know, but I, I'm sure you'll do it. Yeah. Um, finally, when you came on the podcast a few months ago, we asked you what your go-to meal deal was. Yes. You said prawn mayo sandwich. Yes. Or a beef and that. horseradish. I went prawn mayo this, just before I came here. Oh, <laughs> oh did you? Yeah, yeah, I, I was going to ask if it co- had changed. Coconut, coconut water. Yeah. yeah. And this time they got. I, I said, I'm not in camp no more. Yeah, oh, so, no. I saw some crisps. Yeah. Uh, the what are they called? Shit. <laughs> They're spicy max. Oh yeah, oh, the big yeah. ones. The, the big new, ones. the new, the, the new, new thick one. cut I tried ones. That, they were no, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> they were brilliant. <laughs> there we go, Gib. It's been a, it's been a pleasure, mate. It's been a pleasure. Thank Thank you boys for having me on. I appreciate it. You are still very much the people's champ, right? And and Jake may have won on the night, Mm. 
but ultimately he is still Jake Paul. <laughs> and that, yeah. that tells nah, you. We gotta give the respect. <laughs> you I can. can. I you can. can. <laughs> I haven't got to. <laughs> I gotta give respect. He beat me. Yeah. He done me in a round. Yeah. And under the rules, he got the win. <laughs> give him the rematch I want, I want give him the rematch we didn't get into it yeah. we didn't get into it that's why I wanted, I wanted to go into it and go but it ended I went did fuck <laughs> <laughs> mate I, I, we're all still proud uh, of you mate yeah, so man. keep keep your head up are you now officially seven figure giver we're close thanks for listening guys I'll see you next week this bye has been Jack Mates Happy Hour bye 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 boys